Hello. Hello. Why, we're playing a new game. Robot yeah. wants Kitty. Why are we playing this game, Biff? Well, you may recall my word last time was young. I do, because you reminded me. And I completely forgot oh. about it. And had to check our last video to find out what the word was. And I had a cursory look. And didn't really care for anything I saw. Uh, but then I remembered in, uh, I think, Call of the Wild, this game I used to play. I don't know what set me off. There's three of these. And uh, I played it when I was younger. That's loud. I will, I will say that I don't necessarily think in keeping with the, uh, the spirit of the, the, the word choosing, but I'll allow it. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Whoop. Oh. Congratulations, you've broken this game. No, I'm not out of this yet. Come on. Did it work? Did it work when you were younger as well? It did, but it was on not Doppler, I'm sure. Oh fuck. Ben. You have one job. I really love this game. Did <laughs> didn't I? Okay, back in a minute. <laughs> right. This hopefully should work. I found a different version. I don't know whether it will. I'm quite keen to show off this game because I like it. It's fun. I played this for hours. It was one of those games I played on a Thursday. I'd completely forgotten about it until, uh, well, until we were playing that first video, that first game. Yeah, bitch. Now you can jump. Yeah, I can. Whoop. Alley -oop. Save point. Ah, there we go, that's what you need. Now yeah. you can continue to fuck things up if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Like that again. Like that. There we go. Pew pew. Ah yes, lasers. Uh no, it just didn't save it again, did it? Well... Um... Yes. I don't think you go that way, Ben. Huh? I don't think you're meant to go that way. I thought you... you... I know what I'm doing. This that reminds me of the time we watched Battle Royale, and you were convinced that a certain character was dead, and I had I, it was the first time you'd saw the film, and I'd seen it a couple of times before, and I told you no, that character's alive. You were like, no, I'm pretty sure she's dead. Like, no, no. Okay, can I can I can I just say? Can I stop you? My, my entire <laughs> I'm I've been, I'm seeing this thing for the first time. And I said, I don't think you're supposed to go that way. I didn't say, oh, you're going the wrong fucking way. I said, I don't think you're supposed um, to go that might way. Might as well have done. That is that is me offering... Uh, this is me trying to be a part of his experience. <laughs> yeah? Give us a topic, it's... then. No, no, you, you, you clearly you've got one. All right, topic. fine. Uh, did you hear Shelley Duvall died? I did. That was one of my topics. Yeah. Yeah, Paul Shelley Duvall, famous for, uh, um, well, The Shining, but also uh, Annie Hall. She was in that, apparently. I've never seen it. He played, um, what's Popeye's girlfriend called? Olive Oil. Helen? Oh, Olive Oil, yeah. Um, she played Olive Oil in the live-action version of that with... Um, with Robin Williams? Yes. Yes. Apparently was... I've seen clips. She is... She's good in that role. Uh, suffered badly. Yeah. Thanks for your googling up. 
I assume you're on the Wikipedia page for it. No, I'm not on the Wikipedia page for it. I know because when I went to... We were on a cliff overlooking the village where they filmed it. Huh. I, I know from personal experience, Ben. Not everything needs to be Googled. Okay. Well done. I like this game because it's just about a robot who wants a cat. That explains the title. Yeah. <laughs> Are you uh, invested in our robot friend struggle? All right. Well, I mean, I don't want you to get shitty with me. Just some I'm not be invested. I didn't get most of that, so I'm going to assume you said yes. I don't want to, you to get shitty with me if I suggest <laughs> anything. I'm not going to get shitty invested. with you. No, you might do, won't you? No, so that's just not fun. You, you, you play your game, and I'll, I'll contribute mm -hmm. verbally to conversation. Half-heartedly pay attention. To okay. Uh, yes, poor Shelley Duvall. You've seen yeah. The Shining, is she good in it? Yeah, she's alright, isn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't say she's the highlight of the film, but I don't know what. My experience of The Shining was, was lessened greatly by having Simpsons the mm. as I've commented on previously. Well, it weakened the quality of a film for me, and it shouldn't do, but it had. It did. That's one of those things that's been parodied so many times and referenced. It's sort of hard to see the original thing, I guess. It's like The Exorcist. Yeah. When that was re-released, I heard people were laughing at it. Because it just seemed so quaint. Well, horror back then isn't the same as horror. Yeah. Or well, horror back when it was released isn't the same as horror. Yeah. As a modern like. re-release. Mm. Um. Oh. Do you know who Myra Black is? No, I don't think I do. She's the SM or the former SMP uh, person. Hmm. Uh, she's embarking on her first show at the Edinburgh Fringe. Fuck. It's a comedy show, which I don't really like. The idea of it. Uh, I just don't think it's. Uh, I I don't think it's becoming for a former prime prime minister, former politician to do something like that. You know what I mean? I mean, I think it's important that they be able to try and ingratiate themselves into public life as best as possible. Well, like a former prisoner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to make that comparison, that's a, it's a reasonable enough alternative. Like alternative. Yeah. I don't. I don't think they should be barred from certain certain jobs. You know, no. if they're still members of society, and if they, if we've given them a if we've kicked them out for whatever reason, mm. who are we to dictate what they do after that? That's true, but it, uh, I just I'm wary of it because it seems like using your uh, fame as a as a politician to sort of you know find uh, real fame. Do you know what I mean? Tele tele fame eventually. You know. Okay, but how is, how is that really any different from using having been a politician to get a a, a good job as a I don't know, as, as as any other fucking, you know, like if you can't guarantee that they they won't get a better job for having been a politician, no matter what they end up mm. doing, can you? No, but I mean, I'm not not fan of that either. There's nothing you can do about it. It's a part of who they are. It's part mm. of their their employee history, mm. and thus is going to have an impact on it. It's just the way it is. Just. Yeah. And if anything, this might provide an insight to Michael having been a politician, right? Yeah. Experiences that the average person aren't, isn't going to have had. Hmm. I mean, she's welcome to it, and I like her well enough. But, uh, I don't know, stuff like that just rubbed me up the wrong way. I see your point, though. I don't, I don't entirely disagree. It's, it's, it's complicated, because it, it, it depends on what the, you know... How it goes. I mean, if it's if it's actually funny, maybe your entire stance will be completely different, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do you want to do a topic? Uh, you seen that George Clooney telling Biden he should stand down? Yes, it's it's snowboarding a little. George Clooney, who is a very very high. 
funding, uh, Democrat. Yeah. He, he puts a lot of money into him. Mm. And probably helps get a lot of money into him as well. Yeah, he's one of those guys you have... Oh, look at that monstrosity. Yeah, he's he's one of those guys who... Um... I'm going to need a better weapon. Who, uh... Yeah, bring out at parties and hosts, you know, fundraiser occasions and things like that. Yeah. It's a big name. He is. And if he wants you gone, you probably need to think about the fact that he wants you gone. Well... Yeah, I, I know I've seen a few more, uh... Congress people. Um... Or members of Congress have, uh, have have suggested that it's time for Biden to call it quits. Well, maybe it is. You know, the the late night talk show people are, are very much of that opinion too. There's um, it's very possible that we're finding out who Trump's running mate will be, or his choice for running mate, because it's not technically him yet, is it? But his his choice for running mate apparently it's going to be Twitter. Oh, that'll be interesting. Event going on. He's he's alluded to that being the case, being the case or not, don't mm. know. but he's alluded to it enough when it being speculation. So, mm. we'll... yeah, we'll find out which which alt right member of the fucking. Well, maybe it, uh, it's entirely possible he'll go for a more of a a um, old style, a yeah, moderate, an old style George Bush Senior. Conservative with a small C. Yeah. You know. so, so they're trying to kill you, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of them droppy things. Don't let it kill you, man. No. Then you'll have to climb up all this shit again. Fuck. For fuck's sake, Ben, I gave you one job. <laughs> that robot wants his kitty, alright. I know someone called Kitty. Do you? Hmm. Married to someone called Dave. I think we've gone the wrong way. Yeah, I think you have. I didn't want to say anything, but... Hmm. I don't think this is the right way either. Hmm. If it were me, I'd go up. Yeah, it's up this and way. Then right, rather than up, up. Yeah. Mm. Fool. But yeah, I mean, it's it, it's definitely closing time, as it were, on Biden's political career, isn't it? It's well, not... one way or the other, really. Yeah. Either he steps down or he's going to get voted out. Really, I think. Not... I I have I have so little faith in the Democratic Party to do the right thing at this point. What? Shoot him. <laughs> to you know have that conversation with him. We well, probably have had that conversation with him. Problem. Well, by all accounts, he's keen to hang on. Yeah. I think. What I think hopeful Jill's at least having words with him and saying, "Look, Joe." I don't. I don't think so. I think if she did, this thing would be done by now. I think he would have gone. I think the issue is, well, John John Stewart raised this in his sort of in his uh, opinion piece on this, uh, which is basically that. Um, they're trying to gaslight us and say, well, you know, it was just a cold. It was just, you know, X, Y, Z. And I don't think it is dementia. I just think he's he's incredibly old. And uh, old. Well, it was a busy schedule and that wears on people. But the trouble is he's never going to not. He's only going to get worse. You know, they gave, they gave him a lot of shit to memorize. A lot of shit to do. You know. As you say, it's a busy schedule, etc, etc, etc. But by the same token, you know, he's going to be president for the next four years and he's not going to get any better, you know. Mm, I'm assuming you having it, it getting faster is the sign that you... Yeah. Fuck. It's killed you. Yeah, no. 
Yeah, um, it doesn't reset. No, it doesn't. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Going like the bloody clappers, isn't he? Fuck. <laughs> he wasn't even the bad one. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Mm. You and your video games, you're bloody awful at them, aren't you? I'm doing great. At least we've got a timer as to how long you've been going. Yeah, that's handy. Oh, fuck me. I'd rather not. <laughs> the joy is he can't get me. Fuck you. Well. So, as you know, I've been watching Buffy. Yeah. I have 12 episodes left until the musical episode. Oh, yeah. I have one small with feeling. Or oh, maybe it's 11 now because I watched one earlier. Yeah, I think it's 11. I think the 11 is once more. So I'm quite looking forward mm. to that. Uh, between now and then, I know that she dies. Oh, no. Um, I don't know the nature of her dying. I think she dives into like a pit. She gets, she gets better, though, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, they bring her back to life. And there's this whole song about it, how she was in and they ripped her out of heaven because they needed her. <laughs> and mm. it's just fucking terrible realisation for them that they've doomed their best friend to living in what she considers to be hell because they couldn't get on with it. Oh. Yeah. Um, anyway. Ah. I'm very familiar with the song. <laughs> mm. And all the songs in that one, to be honest with you. Um, but most notably, there's a point in it... Uh, Spike, who is a recurring vampire character, yeah, um, has uh, fallen in love with her. Yeah, um, and there was a point when he had he got someone to make a Buffy robot, someone who had made a robot girlfriend. He insisted that he this this person make him a Buffy robot that he could, you know, romance. Yeah, uh, she found out about it. Uh, and it got damaged, and the whole thing, you know, she she took its place temporarily to trick him. So it was pretty realistic, this thing, then? It's, yeah, it's pretty realistic. It's only really the mannerisms that make it clear that it's not her. Mm. It's just attitude towards things and the way it talks and shit like that. But no one noticed it wasn't her until she got back. <laughs> which is absurd. Like, but that's for, you know, it's TV, isn't it? So it's going to be like... Um... He, he got taken away and interrogated by someone, and they were all of the belief that he probably spilled the beans about what was going on. But he didn't. And so she impersonated this robot to find out if he had told all. Yeah. And it was made very clear that he hadn't. And she's like, look, you're not getting your robot, but you know, I'm never going to forget that you have to. Because he got, he got the shit kicked out of it. Well, it's a pretty shitty thing to do, really. Well, it's creepy. Yeah, it is creepy as all hell. You know, it, I, I know that they use this robot temporarily when she's dead because it, it knows how to fight not necessarily as well as she can mm. but it is it, it's a temporary hold on whilst they're trying to get her back so i know that they use this robot a little bit mm. uh, i think something goes wrong with it and she has to fight but it's, it's not something i've seen it's something i've vaguely mm. called from someone else um so it's a good job that he got it made yeah ultimately, ultimately. is he is he sleeping with it he, yeah, he slept with it. That is weird. It is weird. But you say that, but I am... Um, you you know me, I, I'm aware of some strange circles. Well, I, they're I, so strange, they're more like bloody squares, if you ask me. I, I heard tell of a man somewhere near here, I don't know where exactly, nor did I ask, who has a sex doll one of those supposedly fairly realistic ones, which I have seen a picture of, and, you know, you know it's a sex doll, but in the style of sex dolls go, it looks fairly realistic. Yeah. Um, who wants to share it with someone? He wants to use this sex doll with someone else at the same time. That's, that's sad. And it is a bit sad, isn't it? They, they, I've seen them refer to it as girlfriend. Yeah as well, which is also a bit sad. 
Well, look, I'm a... You know me, I've struggled with loneliness in the past. You know? I know, but Ben, Ben, come on. You're not, you're, you've never bought a fucking sex doll. Well, no, but I, you know, I, I watched a documentary, believe it, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> I don't believe it. Not not too long ago, where about um, men who had these these love dolls. Hmm. Yay, robot got kitty. And it took you 18 minutes. And it was mentioned that... Um, that... Um, you know, it, it's the fantasy. They know it's not, it's not real. I mean, they um, say that, but I'm, I'm not entirely too sure. They, they know it's not real, but you know, what else are you gonna do? You know, we. Oh, I've got to say this. Obviously, as you are aware, there are times where my relationship status has been a bit complicated to explain. Why do you have to go and make things so complex? Shit. Oh. You know, as, as you're aware, there are, there are times where... Kitty cat. Yeah, go on. Uh, and back when it was all sort of new and there was all the drama, it would come up in conversation. Yeah. At work. Uh. And I would sometimes draw the diagram to explain the situation. <laughs> you know, the, the polycule yeah. shapes and stuff. Was I in it? Uh, Not when it was most drawn. Uh. But, I mean, there were times when you would have been. You weren't at its most common. <laughs> this is kind of fu- Have you read this? Probably not. This is kind of funny. No, I was talking. I was looking at my microphone. Well, it's an opening crawl that describes a a plot to overthrow a, a tyrant, and then I mean, meanwhile, in a completely swear. different galaxy, robot wants puppy. Okay. <laughs> By the way, his tentacles are literally iron. This wasn't some kind of metaphor. Um. So it came up in conversation again yesterday. Things were. Because mm-hmm. we, we people were just talking about relationships in general, and I was like, "Yeah, please, mine's a lot less complicated." And I, I drew a comparison uh, of its most complicated to its current situation, and uh, it came up. It, someone who hadn't been around back then was talking about it, and then they drew their situation. It's not a drawing. Well, and I genuinely, because we don't hear anything really about them having any sort of person in their life, there was a brief part of me that thought we were going to draw a hand. Just very briefly, I thought they're gonna draw a hand, aren't they? Uh, um, but they have date night. They have a, they have a date on every Wednesday. Uh, from what we gather. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's Peep Show guy. The guy who was doing Peep Show references. Oh, yeah. Is he into your sort of thing then? I don't know. I don't know what he's into, but that's because it's not something that really. When he drew his situation. He's a bit young. He, he's like twenty. It's awkward to talk about with someone as young as that. Yeah, the thing is, you're pushing forty, aren't you? Well, I mean, we're 30, aren't we? No, we're not. You know, it's nothing... Speak for yourself, a... mate. I'm 26. Stop, stop, stop. Scroll up. Go to the right of it. That's not right, that's left. No, the actual scroll to it. Do you see that thing in the top right? Oh, well, that's pointless. What was that? What's the point of that? I told you. You didn't tell me any fucking thing. <laughs> you, you didn't do anything with it. It was not... <sighs> It wasn't certain if you'd even seen the bit. How is the quality of this one worse than the last one? I don't know. I see you've got the cat now. Yeah, fuck. I get to throw it as a weapon. Oh, that's not ideal, is it? There's no sound on this, which is annoying. Probably for a best fight. I mean, the sound was fucking awful the last one. Uh. You turned it down for a reason. Yeah. Good cat. Yeah, no, I mean things are a lot less complicated now. That's... That was, you know. Yeah, that was messy, wasn't it? It, it did get messy for a while. Uh, hey ho. It was always simple at my end. Well, you're. I don't know. I keep it simple. I don't. I, you don't get me throwing all sorts of shit around going on with people or whatever. Uh. Well, you know, there's always room for. It's just I don't know when I'd fit them in. Would you not be happier, perhaps, with a conventional relationship? I don't know. I don't think so. Because what you've got, you got, you got to remember is one of the advantages of the situation is that most of the week, I've basically got a girlfriend by text. Oh. 
Oh, well, I can't it's go down there, can I? Fucking hell. Uh. It's a lot less pressure. I would say. In this sort of relationship. The onus isn't on me to be the boyfriend all the time. I mean, that's... I appreciate that. I can understand that. Like tonight, if I was in a conventional relationship where I was living with... Then nights like tonight would be a... Could potentially be taxing on our relationship. Maybe, because but... Every Thursday night, it's... Oh, you can't hang out with your shit to do. You know? Well, not necessarily. No, not necessarily, but there's room for it to end up being a, a point of contention. Yeah, I can yeah. I can see that. Whereas the way things are now, it's just I'm doing my shit tonight because I'm at home tonight by myself, right? What? Kitty Cannon, fuck you. Uh, I mean, if uh, your partner had friends, I say if your your partner had a, a you know she could always just go out with her friends, oh, couldn't yeah. she? You know, yeah, this is true. it doesn't always have. To, just because she wouldn't necessarily have a second partner wouldn't mean that um, she wouldn't have shit that she could do or people that she could, I know. She could spend I know. time I with. Oh. It's just, I, 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 consider, I feel a lot more free in my ability to do what I want being in a non-conventional relationship like this. Mm. Well, I mean, if it works for you. It doesn't. That's the key thing is that it doesn't work for everybody. It's not going to work for everybody. Oh, fuck. But it does work for me. That's all right. And mm. I'm all the only, well, me and the other people in this. It needs to work. You break. Oh, I thought you'd break it. Yeah, you're breaking it. There we go. He's, oh, there we go. It comes up a lot yeah. at work for they, people don't think they could they could handle it because they get jealous. So they know you're in this setup. Yeah, yeah, they know. All right. I'm very open about it. it was, you know, because what it does is it avoids questions like, "Oh, when are you and Caden going? Caden going to get married?" All that kind of shit. Yeah, that's probably like, clever. These aren't questions to because people, people do that, don't they? They, they do, do, yeah. Sorts of things. They do. It, 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 it completely eliminates the, the societal pressure to do anything in the relationship. Yeah. As far as we're concerned, we're playing by a different set of rules. Yeah. Their, their idea of what should happen in this relationship is meaningless to us, and it always will. Well, that's positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Screw mm -hmm. society's rules. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not breaking the law. Breaking the law, and, breaking the law. As, you're, as long as you're not breaking the law, you have your relationship with whoever you want, however you want. Well... Well, I said as long as you're not breaking the law, but what more parameters? I don't know. I sort of prefer, Im you know, as long as it's not immoral. I mean, a lot of when it comes to that sort of thing, a lot of. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of crossover, but even so, I think um, you know, morality is a far better judge than. Can you can legality. you think of something that would be immoral, but not illegal? If you're 70 and they're 16. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily consider it questionable. You wouldn't necessarily consider it what, sorry? Immoral. Uh, I would. That's the thing, immoral is, is a matter of opinion, isn't it? A lot of the time. I understand where you're coming from. I wouldn't necessarily consider. I would. Okay, and that's fine. I respectfully disagree. I disrespectfully disagree. Well, we we'll have a bit of fucking respect. <laughs> you're not going to try and break the thing for I'm going to. I was aiming for that. You done fucked it up. All right, all right, all right. Breaking the law, no, really? breaking the law. Uh, shall we get on to my last topic? Is it F1? Funnily enough, it is two batches of F1 stuff. Oh. Oh, fuck you. 
Yes, go on. Um, are you, why are you going that way considering you can't get through? I want to kill this thing. I I'd leave it to a later person. Isn't it's it? a point of pride. Okay. Um, so we, we had the Silverstone race this weekend just gone. Yeah. Um, it was, by all accounts, a fairly decent race. Yeah. Uh, I say this, of course, because uh, Lewis Hamilton won his first race win since 2021. Lovely. Uh, it, it was it was well earned. And there was genuinely a point where I cheered, not necessarily because of how he had done, but just because it was there was some damn good racing in it. <laughs> some damn good flying. Yeah, go on. Yeah, it was it was it was well worth the time that was spent watching it. Whereas some races that have taken place haven't necessarily been the time to watch. Um, this is one that I'm pleased I won. Yeah. Uh, that was probably not mistaken. something a lot of people will be able to say lately. For the sport. Yeah. Uh, the other thing uh, is that there is an F1 movie being released next year. Oh, is there? I have seen a teaser trailer for it. Brad Pitt is in this movie. What's I knew that there, what's I knew the that premise? One. I don't I don't know the full details. I think it's young driver, old driver as part of it. Oh right. From the looks of things, because there's Brad Pitt and there's a, a young young act wearing the same um, driver outfit, like the jumpsuit, border suit thingy. That was a miss. Yeah. Brad Pitt was a young yeah. actor once. He was, but he's not now, is he? No, now he's an old actor. He is. Uh, so yeah, I think I think they're doing a young actor. Uh, young driver, old driver, conflict between the two. Eventually, they work together as a team, which would make mm. sense, wouldn't it? Conceptually, it's a yeah, that's a thing. Um, the thing that caught my eye is that in the trailer, you can very clearly see various real F one personalities. Oh, so there's a bit where we saw them stood on a like at the start of every race, they play the national anthem for the country mm. with all the drivers uh, stood. Uh, like this semicircle in front of where they're doing deploying it. Yeah. For Silverstone, they had Hannah Waddingham. What? That's her name, isn't it? Um. The, she hosted Eurovision. And was Scepter what's a face? Yeah, Scepter. Shame, yeah. lady, Vanilla. Yeah. She. Yeah, they had her singing the national anthem. Oh fuck. Yeah. Um, and so they had her drivers in a semicircle in front of her whilst so that was going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and. In this particular clip, you can see both Max Verstappen and uh, what's his name, uh, Fernando Alonso, quite yeah. clearly, amongst others. But they're, they're the clearest ones, mm. quite distinctive looks. And then also, there's a brief moment where someone on a pit wall leans out with their headphones on, and it was very definitely Gunter Steiner, who I believe was some sort of technical director. Oh. I think. I forget which team, Haas, I think. Very famous. In, I mean, oh shit! I can't get my thing. Very famous individual on board. So it's it's good to see that we're getting the the, the real world people involved mm. in it. I'm, I'm quite pleased that that's the thing that they've done. Does it have a title? Uh, I think it's just called F1. Oh, it's not overly creative, but no. You know, but it doesn't come out until next year, so I got to wait a whole fucking year for it. Next well, year. you'll have to see it. Oh, I plan to. I showed my son the uh, the trailer. Yeah, what did he uh, make of it? He seems happy enough. He 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 likes watching the races when they're exciting. So I called him through a few of the exciting ones during the race. Yeah, that's last one. And he, he he does like seeing the the start and the end. The start because there's often a crash, or not so much lately actually. If there's going to be a crash, it's probably going to be right near the start. Um, How is your child? He's fine. Cool. Um, and I, I asked him if he would like to watch that. and he did answer to the affirmative nice. uh, so I may even be able to get him into a cinema potentially if uh, if he's old enough hmm. but it'll be, I mean it'll be 10 I should think it'll be a PG oh, probably maybe well I hope he's not he won't be bored by it no, I mean, we saw a bunch of cars spinning out, so, mm. at times. But it does look, they've, they've used, it does look like they're filmed inside the vehicles properly. Mm. Like, okay, they, no. could probably, they, they could probably fake it easily. 
but I'm not convinced mm. that they have faked it. It looks real enough to me. Mm. Other than the fact that the video quality is better than it is on the, the video cameras that they actually use. <laughs> Damn, yeah. One, one of the issues that you have with uh, the, the onboard cameras is that because of how shaky everything is, it's oh. all, the camera quality is not great. Right. But that's yeah. just because of the nature of the speed that they get, right? Damn this but thing. That'll be partly because they have no need to have really expensive fucking cameras. They just need them to work. Yeah. You don't want to put anything too expensive on because if a car's a write off, you've got to buy a camera. That, I mean, that is true. And the amount of, there, are, there are cars that will be, as of, like, first half of the season, they must have written off at least five, six cars already. Do they have fun little commentary? Who, the drivers? Yeah. Well, or do they yeah. mostly just say silent and go, oh, fuck, every now and then? Well, I mean, the, we, don't, we don't have access to the entire team radio mm. most of the time. We get snippets of it. I mean, I, I listen to it on the, the, the Sky coverage. Yeah. And they have professionals talking about what's going on. And they stop talking to get these selected radio commentaries through. And sometimes that radio commentary is like, um, it's, too, it's too fucking dry. Mm. Like I mentioned to you on Sunday. Yeah. They had wet <laughs> tyres on. They had wet tyres on, but it wasn't. It wasn't wet enough of a wet time. Mm. It's just a silly little thing. But like, it's nice to have that input from them. And we do often hear their thoughts on the situation. Like, for people to be asked if they think they should, they should go in the pits. Or if they should... It's a very much a... It depends on what the driver thinks, because the driver mm. can see. He yeah. knows how well it's driving better than they can from the metrics that they're seeing. So, what's going on with that? Is it, is it, is it still the, the Grand Prix? Is that still happening? Well, what, what Grand Prix? Well, the, the driving. What are they driving for now? It's, it's the championship. All right. The Grand Prix is the individual race. Right. It's the Silverstone Grand Prix. It was a Monaco. Right. That makes so sense. Been... They have two championships a year. It's drivers. So is it is it just called the championship? Well, it's the drivers' championship and a constructors' championship. A constructors' championship. What's that? Yeah, so it's for team. Oh, I team see. So a driver will get points based on where in the top if they are in the top ten. Mm. And if you're in the top ten and you get fastest lap, you get another. Right. Just an extra one point. And then uh. a team will get points equal to each of their drivers' total. Mm. So if you have someone, if your two drivers together get a total of 10 points, the team gets 10 points. Mm. So you could have a driver win, but their team not get the Constructors' Championship if you have one particularly good driver and shit driver. So I'm not sure what the standings are. I would say this does make a good bit of more sense now. Does it as to as to what? Well, as to as to like the what it is. I mean, I thought the Grand Prix was the the actual tournament. No, 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 it's the individual. Right. Um, it's been very eye opening. I just want to see what the constructors' championship uh, is staying at the moment because I don't know. I'm some surprise by that. I'm quite ridiculous. Never mind. Um, oh no. Oh, we got problems. Why have we got problems? Um, you probably haven't seen the BBC News. Oh no. You know, we were talking about Biden. Yeah. US President Joe Biden mistakenly in Zelensky as President Putin. At NATO events. Oh, I, th I thought that was going to be so much worse than it was. It's not good, though, is it? Well, no, I mean... What are the... Hmm. They, they suggested it was because he had a bad day, right? But he's had a lot of these bad days. 
And even if he has a lot of good days, he's going to keep having bad days. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be like that. And even if he didn't, the damage is done. He's... It's too late. It's, it's, it's okay. I, I mean, my argument isn't necessarily that a Biden administration wouldn't be good, because it's more than him making the decisions. The issue is that I don't believe he can win the election. He's not a and good can. If, he's not a good candidate. Even if it's not just him, it's 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 him. He's the face of it. Well, yeah, he's st- he's he is the the uh, the chief. You know, he's he's the face of America. The political state. He's going to be the, the one negotiating and everything. It's not like you can't run an administration like that. I think last time I mentioned that uh, Ronald Reagan was sort of out of it for so much of his his presidency. The last two years he had yeah. dementia and he didn't make a lot of decisions to begin with. Um, but even, he, he has to go, please. This It's just going to keep happening. It's only gonna, it is only going to get worse. You cannot recover from that debate. It was it was appalling. Did you see any clips from it? Uh, no, somehow I've managed to avoid them. Do you ever, are you I'm not a... overly that interested. No. So, I, I, in, I'm not that interested in seeing... Yeah, I, I I know enough about how badly it went. It, it, from what I've heard. It was uh Oh fuck. I mean it was it was very, very bad. So Yeah, it's just it's it's not good, is it? Yeah, I mean if you want to watch an old man humiliate himself. I'd look in the mirror. Wah, 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 wah. Fuck, okay, I think I need to go the other way. You haven't got the key for number six yet, anyway. No. But I could probably drift across. I'm not convinced, but fair enough. Have you played this one before? Yeah. There's a third one too. Yeah, you mentioned. Well, I'm not convinced we're going to get to the third one tonight. Why? It's only been 30 minutes in total. No, it hasn't only been 30 minutes. It's coming up to 40 of playtime. Oh. Alone. Well, I mean, we, had over forty of playtime. We will probably have to leave the the other one then. Oh well. No, it's just what it is. It was always next week. Yeah. If you wanted to finish uh, off the series, why ever not? And why then, ever not? Uh, What's the last one? Robot one's fishy. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I was thinking I was taking the... And I was, just not as effectively as I thought. Oh, look at that, I've done all my topics. Yeah, I've done all mine. Unless you want to learn more about Formula 1. Why did I push that button? I don't know, were you trying to press the up button? Yeah. <sighs> well done, you... you... Than better than I thought you would for the jump. No, I think we should. There we go. One of the things I do like about having shared Formula One with my son is that I, he does, he understands things about it, but I don't. Well, well, like he understands the, the DRS zone and the timings and all that kind of stuff, and he'll 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 comment on things. Because of it. Oh my god, look so, at all this. So like, if you're within a second of the guy in front of you at a certain point on the track, there's a thing you can do to open up the spoiler. Yeah. On another on a following section of the track. And he will he will comment on how things are doing, how how, how the drivers are doing and whether they're in the DRS zone hmm. whilst he's watching with me. It's a, it's a silly little thing. It's, do you know, do you think he's a clever boy? 
I think he has his moments. I think he takes it in. Is he bought? Well, that's uh, good. We got a report actually from his school yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't got a paper with me. It's it's in the other room, but he um he's ahead on reading. Do, 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 do. He is almost no. He's on target when it comes to uh, writing. And what's the other thing? Uh, maths is on target as well. No, mm. he's just ahead. Sorry, on maths. Good. He's ahead of where he should be. Uh, the only thing that he's behind on is one particular thing in writing. Oh, uh, right. And PE. Fair. Yeah, very fair. I think the writing thing is, um, what is it? It's writing from memory punctuation. Mm. But. You know, yeah. how often do you write from memory anyway? Normally, you're making it up as you go along, aren't you? I guess. Um, you know, it's not often that you'll transcribe something, in the grand scheme of things. No. Fuck. And in a real world setting, most of the time that you're going to be writing, use it anyway. At which point, you copy and paste if you're going to. Be... Yeah, it's. Uh... Or you'll be paraphrasing if you're going to be. Copying. It's sort of like how I was thinking uh, yesterday that that uh, in my pocket I have a phone with which I can access the internet. I have a calculator on it. I can make notes. It's essentially a file of facts. It's got all my contacts in there. It's a, a phone book as well, you know. And it's it's thinner than my wallet. Yeah, Isn't that amazing. Yeah, it absolutely is. You have a tool there that does all those things, and it costs you however much it costs you each one. That's it. Yeah, a tenner. Costs you a tenner a month. Well, gift card does. Oh. I I paid for it. I paid for it outright. Oh yeah, that makes a difference. I I really couldn't be fucked. That was silly of me. Was it? Oh, I paid off a loan since we last spoke. Well, another one. Oh no, I, I didn't realize I'd done the other one. I, I didn't realize we talked about the other one. You said you paid off a loan, and that you just had your other two to go now. Okay, yeah. So it's for it's the credit card payoffs because of the card issues I had earlier in the year. Yeah. And then there's the other loan that I had to take out. But the, the one of the joyous things is because I'd overpaid, they actually gave me a bunch of money back. Oh, that's nice. Which paid for my gas bill. Plus extra. I went out for dinner on Friday with it as well. Uh, which was very nice. Your little windfall. Yeah, like it gave me about 250 odd quid. Hmm. And this is 250 odd quid I wasn't expecting to get. Well, it's so, always nice, uh, isn't it? All right for some, isn't it? Well, you know. It's, Jummy it's, bastard. I, it, it's money that I have, technically speaking, earned rather than just been given. Uh, so, you know. Bloody nanny state. Hey. I'm sure that's what you need to do to block over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was just thinking about it. I can't yeah, I I feel like I played uh Robot Wants Kitty more than this. I'm getting some flashbacks. It's been a little while. Some flashbacks. I'm just going to wait for you to come down here then. Boop. Uh, oh, I, well, behold Blocko, one imagines. Good God, now you can double jump. Mind as well jump. Jump. No. Sang by who? Millie Vanilli. I was serious, I can guess. I don't know, Robson and Jerome. I don't fucking know... I don't know. Van, Van Halen. Van Halen sang jump. Right. How are you? How are you fucked about over so bad? There we go. There you go. Told you I could do Your it. Your inability to play video games does amaze me. You say that. I am I not kicking your ass in Call of the Wild? You've got a lot more experience in playing games. 
Oh, right. You literally dedicated like fucking days of your life to that game. Yeah, it's fun. Well, that's fine. If you want to dedicate uh, yeah. days of your life to a game, that's absolutely But, like, generally speaking, in terms of video games, I kid your ass. I like killing animals. It makes my privates tingle. Well, yes, I'm sure it does. I can't believe you jumped into an animal. Oh, God, I can't believe you're still here. Oh, you know, it'd be rude for me <laughs> to go to bed. <laughs> As tired uh, as I am. I'd miss you. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. Yeah, for all of 10 minutes, and then you'd go to bed yourself. Mm. Come on, block her off, you fuck. <sighs> Not killed him yet. It was a mouse. Blocko is dead. Well, how would you murdered that mouse? Mm. You can't handle vermouth. Vermouth? That's what I said. <sighs> you look it. Back to Miss Piggy. I mean, maybe. Did you see that we lost them and regained a f on YouTube? Oh, yeah, that happens all the time. People come to their senses, they sober up, <laughs> and they bugger off, yeah. and then some other poor git. I was so hopeful we get to get to 50. Maybe it was that guy we um, play Call of the Wild with, and he heard you bitching about him. Possibly. And uh, then he decided to say, okay. just leave. We're, we're, just, we're so close. If you're watching this, and you, please just just subscribe to us for a few minutes. Let us know what you did. Wait until we responded to your comment and then leave. If you want, just let, let's hit 50. You sound so desperate, man. I know we are. I just, I'm not just, desperate. I'm fine. I'm gonna, I'd love a comment, but. It would be like nice just to hit a stupid little milestone. It doesn't sound like it, given yeah. you know everything. But we do, we do put some effort into these things. Mm. I said some. Yeah. I didn't say all the effort, did I? I yeah. Some. I mean, we show up every week. Is that not enough for these fucking people? No. I think you fucked that by. Well, how was I meant to do it? Well, preferably not by dying right after you open the. That's probably be the easiest thing for you. Ever not fucked it up. There you go. Get wrecked. I say that when I beat my son in a video game sometimes, and he doesn't like it. But it has helped motivate him to, you know, not lose. Well, that'll learn him. He must hate you in order to thrive. But my, fa my father taught me. Trash talk is a very valuable part of the gaming experience. <laughs> Competitive gaming experience, at least. Does he get upset? Not anymore. But the trouble is, he... He now will beat me at that same game. And tell you right. to go fuck yourself or whatever. Maybe yeah, not in yeah. so many words. But... Is, he trash he is he trash talking you now? No. No? no still not yet. No. Despite my emphasis that he, he, he probably should at some point. He's too polite. You race him well. Up, up and away. Fuck. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> that explains why they place that one there, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I 
better get these because I'm probably going to need them. God, this is a much longer game than the first one. You've made more mistakes in this first one. Yeah, I made. Well, I didn't. I wasn't got any flawless the first is... time, was I? No, no, no. But like this, this one, it is both bigger, and you have needed to do more, oh. like redo more. Oh. Yeah. True. Because I mean, what was it? Eighteen minutes the first one. Something like that. Yeah, we're well, on forty-six now for this one. Yeah. Which is how I knew how long we've been going. Because I pay attention to such small details. I mean, it's written in the fucking corner. I know, but like, it would be so easy for me to have forgotten everything about the first one. How do I get around right, there? You said we've been going for 20 minutes. Go for 20. Yeah. yeah. No sense of time with you, sometimes. Oh. <clears throat> one of your many, many flaws. Name two more. I mean, have you made yourself? No. Oh, well. Have any of us truly met ourselves? Uh, probably. Uh, you, your unwillingness to accept when you're... I don't think that's true. Exactly. And oh, what should I go with? <laughs> you prick. Sometimes, sometimes you are genuinely complete and utter bastard. And it seems mm. like you do it for the sake of complete and utter bastard. That's not okay. <laughs> yeah. It's not always. Can I do you now? I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. That's a lie. Oh, hang on. I'm with you now. Yeah, by all means. Point out my, one or two of my flaws if you want. Uh. No, I'm not going to. I'm not okay. going to. You're my friend, and I, I, I don't think it's a a very kind thing to do. Okay, fair enough. I mean, you asked me to. It's the only reason I did it. No, well, you. I mean, you didn't have to, but. Well, I didn't have to, but well, I, I mean, respect your wishes too much to no, you don't. to deny you the information that you want. <laughs> no, you don't. God forbid you don't think I do anything. I'll tell you that you're a twat. So... Well, the good thing I don't value your opinion. Neither does anyone else. I do value your opinion. Knew it as anyone. Oh, hang on. <laughs> now say yeah, something. Now say something nice about me. What? Uh, like earlier on in the, like I said something nice about you earlier. You're not getting too. What? What? Remind me. I can't remember, but it's it was during Call of the Wild, so you'll have it on recording. Oh uh, well. You have to listen back. Well, I, I, I. I think you're all right. You think I'm all right? Yeah, not a bit of all I, right. No, I, 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 I didn't I'm. I know. I'm. Right. I know. I'm just saying. I know that you are in no way sexually attracted. To me. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm. I'm more than comfortable. More than it comfortable. Would <laughs> it, would be, it would be awkward if anything was to ever sexually happen between us. I'd it's be safer for us both if it never does. Yeah, I'd find that very upsetting. I don't think you could handle me. Ugh. Exactly. Well, I yeah. think... Where the fuck is key number nine? Uh, Schlusen nine. We. Oui. There's probably... This is probably going to get views from the Robot Wants Animal fandom. And they're probably going to... All 12 people. Yes, they're probably... There's going to be one guy in the comments going, you've failed to secure the optimum path. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Jen's playing. <laughs> no, I, I called you a dear old friend this week. Yes. 
I call you that all the time. I know, but where do I ever call you it? How the fuck do I, I get I found your key. I know. Uh. Aha, I'm a genius. <laughs> Shut up. I was just I was just waiting for it to go wrong. Well it didn't, did it? Everything's oh, yeah. just fine. See? Oh that was close. Are you gonna try and get your you don't need that one, do you? That was a weird glitch, but um I'll take it. I Oh, if I were you, I'd take advantage of that weird glitch to get you down with a gap that you need to get down. Do you don't actually need to go up there? Patience, patience, easy, easy. We got all of them. We got all of them. We got all of them. We, we didn't know. need all of them. We didn't need half of them. My cat is now optimal. Is now uh, perfect. Honestly, you, you tell you're not a speedrunner because otherwise you would have glitched your way down that. I glitch my fist through your face. Oh, good for you. Don't threaten me with a good time. What does that even mean? It means I'll probably like it, so don't... What, being don't punched me. in the face? Well, I mean, contextually, obviously I'm not going to like getting punched in the face. Right, well, why'd you say it? Because it's funny. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. Right, did it. Let's get our dog. It's almost sleepy time, Jordan. It's almost sleepy time. Mm. You've been at this almost as long as we were trucking across your... We did it! We saw, the, we, we saw the museum, so you know. Robot got puppy. Oh Robot no. Puppy. Kitty hates puppy. This is a problem. Well, we'll continue with the final part of the trilogy next week. I am recording. Hooray. Bye. I'd have fucking murdered you if you weren't. <laughs> Bye. Bye.